so we are discussing the sample question paper of term 1 for you people children so the instructions we have all read out so the reading part let's read the first passage but before we read the passage let's first go through the questions that is uh, also a technique to do the reading section uh, in a more you know comprehensive and uh, accurate way right first the questions are according to the author what from the following is a greatest lesson being taught by nature so first question we have to keep in mind is what is the greatest lesson being taught by what's the greatest lesson being taught by nature yes so what is the greatest lesson being taught by nature options are balanced in our emotions partial to joys in life afraid of unhappiness indifferent to fears we have not read the passage yet okay you people have read those who have read they keep the answers because we are also discussing the technique to handle the comprehension in paper first go through the questions select the option that suitably completes a dialogue with reference to paragraph 2 so what is the paragraph 2 so there is a, now there is a dialogue so i have done well for myself in the school i am the best they have i can get admission anywhere this is my moment so this is a dialogue of a child who has done extremely well in school ka era so he said congratulations just remember we should dash so the options are become strong despite our weaknesses be kind and supportive towards everyone respect the origins from where we have grown nurtures ourselves well from the beginning third question is choose the option that best conveys the message in i am because we are i am because we are so the options are tigers are dependent on antelopes antelopes are dependent on tigers humans are dependent on animals everyone is dependent on each other i am because we are so what which option is suitable according to this i am because we are what qualities do the birds and squirrels display when they warn others of possible danger choose one option so what qualities do these birds and squirrels display when they warn others of the danger the observation skills and alertness tendency to get easily frightened selfless assistance to help others determination to protect themselves i guess without reading the answer is clear you know but even then we have to find it from the passage select the option with the underlined words that can suitably replace lurking so in paragraph 4 there is word lurking we have to find the suitable replacement the policeman pulled up the person who was wandering aimlessly the thief knew that remaining hidden was the best strategy to avoid being caught the policeman was caught on camera while pouncing with force to grab the fleeing culprit the thief was walking boldly into the house thinking it was devoid of residents so one meaning is wandering aimlessly second is remaining hidden third is pouncing with force and fourth is walking boldly so these are actually four meanings of lurking okay all these four meanings are the meanings of lurking but we have to find the tick that option which is contextual okay contextual is like the meaning which is suitable as per the given context got it so sixth question is portmanteau words like smog okay a portmanteau words like smog so reading makes you get new words also so portmanteau words like smog is a blend of words in which parts of multiple words are combined into new word so what do we call these kinds of words as portmanteau words so from the options given below select a portmanteau word that appears in para 6 coexistence workaholic full grown flourish so out of these four what is the correct word select the qualities from paragraph 3 that the author wants us to imbibe in paragraph 3 what qualities 
being acceptable passionate emotional resilient perceptive so out of these we have to see whether it is option 2 4 5 like this so we can see whether the author wants us to become acceptive passionate emotional resilient or perceptive so do you know the meaning of all these words what is acceptive the one who accepts the changes or whatever the odds the others their opinions passionate you know when you have passion when you have fire to do something emotional you all know when you are emotional okay resilient the quality to continue or being consistent and what is perceptive perception is how well you are able to get what the other has in mind what getting perception is like how you are able to get well what is in the minds of others or sometimes uh, suppose i enter the class and the class is very quiet it will be my perception which will tell me that there is something wrong with the class okay <laughs> okay or when i enter the class is very like uh, like chirpy very happy making noise then it will be my perception which will make me make out like what has happened with these students what what are they up to okay perception makes us aware about the surroundings without actually knowing the reality okay and perception is the quality of actually very intelligent people okay all intelligent people have perception good perception that's why they happen to be very obedient also that because they think like if we won't do this then the person might not like it that's why they tend to be obedient is it clear so perception is a quality of usually of intelligent people that's why they happen to be intelligent because they know they know the why of situation or of people very easily so the from these we have to find out which qualities the author wants us to imbibe out of these can you tell me like which qualities we should have we should not have any one quality ha uh, we should not be very emotional always which of the following is shown by the changing of seasons the beauty of nature nature's creativity all seasons are equal nothing lasts forever which of the following is shown by changing of seasons okay what does the writer advise in paragraph 6 indulging in competition with others making priority list taking life seriously having having free time for ourselves choose the option that lists the quote best expressing the central idea of the passage nature she pardons no mistakes miss her ya yeah is ya yeah and her nay is nay ralph waldo emerson says so nature pardons no mistakes nature doesn't forgive look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better einstein said this nature never deceives us it is we who deceive ourselves then the fourth one is all the ugliness of the world can best be forgotten in the beauty of nature so got it now let's go through the passage nature is our mother our first teacher the greatest lesson that she teaches us to maintain an equilibrium in life we learn to maintain composure through our joys sorrows and fear in fact there are thousand lessons lessons that nature can teach us provided we look for them so the first paragraph is about two things that nature is our mother is our first teacher it teaches us the lesson of equilibrium equilibrium that is being balanced so i guess some option is coming up uh, okay we'll tick that later on or you can tick that answer side by side 
but in the end you have to review your answers after having read the whole passage okay side by side we are also like observing how to how to do reading skills or comprehension in exams so according to the author what from the following is the greatest lesson being taught by nature balance in emotions or partial joys afraid of happiness indifferent to fears we'll tackle this later on with the time a sapling grows into full grown tree something so tiny and delicate develops into a strong tree capable of supporting others no matter how tall it grows how much it may flourish or how many animals and birds it may support its roots are firmly buried from where it once grows like whatever you become in your life what's the point don't forget the family don't forget the ground from which where from where you have flourished from where you have grown up from where you have prospered so that's the reason to keep ourselves grounded respect and embrace our roots and give something back to those humble beginnings that nurtured us into who we are then there is the message of peaceful coexistence i am because we are nature provides every creature a chance to exist however the existence of one creature or being or being depends on the existence of the other the tiger eats the antelope without the antelope the tiger won't survive likewise without tigers the over abundance of antelopes would cause them to starve to death so here that question was there related to antelopes choose the option that best conveys the message i am because we are so what does the writer want to say tigers are dependent or antelopes or humans are dependent or everyone is dependent on each other yeah d option is correct over here next question is i wonder if you have noticed that when birds or squirrels see a predator they give out an alarm call to fellow creatures of the lurking danger they put themselves in danger so lurking word has come we have to tell its contextual meaning also they give out an alarm call to the fellow creatures of the lurking danger they put themselves in danger to save the lives of others many animals like the salmon usually die after they spawn but this doesn't stop them one life extinguished for the betterment of others is a small price to pay yes beta okay we'll discuss all together okay some question where there was a lot of sequencing that we can tackle there and then okay the snow melts in the warmth of spring to give birth to fresh green leaves the snow melts in warmth of spring to give birth to fresh green leaves in autumn these leaves age into shades of gold only to be buried in the cold grave of winter change is inevitable the sooner we embrace this the better it is for us we must also understand that even in pain there is growth if you cut a hole in the tree it will grow around it no matter what you what may come in its way a river will continue to flow similarly no matter what grief may break your heart nature teaches us that life goes on keep in mind that life isn't about making lists and trying to be one step ahead of others so life is not about competition with others life is to live take a break stop being a workaholic and smell the roses do whatever makes you feel happy and most of all spend some time with nature to pick up invaluable lesson so this six question is a very very like uh, right now fresh in our mind we can do this question first so this question number was uh yes ninth question what does the writer advise in para 6 indulging in competition with others no 
making priority list no taking life seriously no having free time for ourselves and mind it uh, when you get the questions and read question also very carefully if the question was what does the writer what the writer does not advise okay then your option 1 2 and 3 that is abc options were correct then right so reading the question is very important last also we can see choose the option that list the quote best so is it like the nature pardons no mistake or is it look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better maybe nature never deceives us it is we who this was now here no? so all the ugliness of the world can best be forgotten in the beauty of nature so b and c seem correct but what one is better or more yeah so look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better see the positivity and throughout the writer was very positive about everything okay so now let's come to first question according to the author what from the following is the greatest lesson being taught by nature balanced in our emotions partial to joy is afraid of unhappy so other three options are very uh, irrelevant select the option that suitably completes a dialogue so congratulations just remember we should yes c option that is respect the origin from where we have grown yes yes konsa b b kind and supportive towards everyone but uh, see the dialogue over there look at paragraph number 2 you are saying like uh, you want like be kind and supportive so kindness and support for others and fourth option is remain connected to your origin so these two points see what is more you know relevant with the second point paragraph with the time a sapling grows into full grown tree something so tiny and all no matter how tall it grows how much it may flourish or how many animals and birds come it ro its roots are firmly buried from where it once rose connection what it supportive was there like how no matter how much support it gives or gets but in the end what's the point end point of this passage that remain glued to your roots okay some people go to canada after doing 12 and from there they keep on singing songs of the of the other countries like that country is the best to see is so good so great but they forget like from where have they from where have they gone there what made them capable of settling there okay so roots are more important don't forget the roots from where you have flourished okay so come what may wherever one goes in the end your country is the best or in the end your own family is the best in the end your own parents are the best don't forget your parents wherever you may go okay one may become the president of uh, uno but one should not forget that his president is his father or mother so those because they gave him the they nurtured him they nurtured you right so they gave you the ground on which you grew up so the roots must not be forgotten maybe family maybe country or maybe whatever maybe culture okay so third question is choose the option that best conveys the message i am because we are i am because we are means i am there because of others point is this we are all because of each other so what's the correct answer ah everyone is dependent on each other what qualities or do the birds and squirrels display when they warn others of possible danger yes ah uh, observation skills and alertness is also okay not wrong right but the writer's purpose was not to tell us about the alertness of the birds the writer wanted us to 
talk about something else then tendency to get easily frightened doesn't mean that they have got very frightened that's why they are alerting others not this point so they are selfless selflessly assisting to help others so this is very correct fourth one is determination to protect themselves so this is very irrelevant so c option is correct select the option with the underlined words that can suitably replace lurking so which answer so wandering aimlessly or remaining hidden or pouncing with force or 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 walking boldly yes why so why not uh, wandering aimlessly why not pouncing because here they want to say that they alarm others about the uh, danger which is hiding around them the predators don't attack uh, by being in sight they come from somewhere and attack all of a sudden so here it is from being hidden okay next question is a port uh, the portmanteau words so new word which you got to know today you know what are portmanteau words which are made up of ha huh. these are compound words in a way so any word in paragraph 6 coexistence workaholic workaholic was there okay so shall i leave to check select the qualities from paragraph 3 that the author wants to imply paragraph 3 let us see what paragraph 3 was so about peaceful coexistence uh, i am because we are nature provides and all okay so it was this okay now let's see so the does he want us to be acceptive does he want us to be acceptive yes we should accept the change was it there okay uh, then uh, you see now speak out the paragraph again somebody hmm the yeah, third paragraph hmm Hmm. Okay, so does acceptance come? No. Does acceptance come? Acceptance is like I am because we are. This is acceptance. Like I am there because of the existence of other people there. Okay. If the other people will help me, only then I'll be able to exist. It is an acceptance. so the passionate no passion doesn't come emotional no okay resilient hmm. perceptive yes so option number yes because emotion and passion will not come others are all there 1 4 and 5 okay next one which of the following is shown by the changing of seasons from where have you got this idea where is it written in the passage though four of the options are correct but okay let us refer to the paragraph 5 the writer says the snow melts in warmth of spring in autumn these leaves age into these leaves age into shades of gold only to be buried change is inevitable what is inevitable something which is sure to come clear so change is clearly clear uh, clear the sooner we embrace the change the better it is for us we must also understand that even in pain there is growth so if you cut a hole in the tree it will grow around it so even the hole grows up with the tree no matter what may come in its way a river will continue to flow 
so similarly no matter what grief may break your heart nature teaches us that life goes on so from there let's see okay the beauty of nature nature's creativity or all seasons are equal or nothing lasts forever yeah that is okay but it's not very suitable as per that point but out of these four we have to choose this only okay nature lasts forever can you give me suggest one more uh, idea of that given passage nature lasts for uh, nothing lasts forever it's okay huh yes change is the law of nature that's the main idea of that passage okay change is the law of nature accept the change we'll have to accept change because unless we change we will not grow okay with the change comes growth so unless and until we change our rooms after one year we won't get promoted no what does the writer advise us in para 6 this we have done having free time for ourselves choose the option that lets the quote best expressing the central idea all the ugliness can be forgotten in the beauty of nature look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better okay because it is more positive okay so do the rest of the you know questions also